Okay guys, I'm here to talk a little bit about the uh, Brandon Green catching at LSU last year. I'm going to show you a few things that popped up to make this play possible. When Bama comes out of the huddle, we line up with our left tackle, Cam Robinson, split wide to the right as a receiver. DeAndre White's with him. Here's Nudie Fowler. Okay, then you have Derek Henry. That's Amari Cooper. And right there is Brandon Green, who's a converted offensive tackle, so he's a big body, and he kind of blends in with the offensive line. The key to this play getting off is you have to get it to the line, get shifted, and get it snapped before they realize this guy's eligible. Now, to talk about eligible receivers for a second, the only guys on the team that can catch a pass are anyone who is lined up off the line of scrimmage, which means their helmet is not breaking the center's hip, or they're the end man on the line of scrimmage. And also their number has to be between 1 and 49 or 80 and 99. So when we split out, you can see he is the end man on the line as Cooper's off the line. And they're going to come on out here. And you can see both of these guys are on. So he's ineligible for two reasons. Number one, he has a number 74, which makes him ineligible by number, and he's not on the line of scrimmage. This is a basic overload set in the old style of football where you would have four guys on the line to one side, except we're doing it spread out. Okay, so we motion real quick, and LSU's thoroughly confused. As we line up, boom, right as the ball snapped, Derrick Henry split wide, which is something we do quite often. That's basically our put the running back far wide to see if we can pull the corner out. Cooper's here. Fowler's here. DeAndre White's here. Cam's here. Now, Cam's going to flash a screen, and he can catch that as long as it's behind the line of scrimmage. But the big thing all these guys are going to do, as you see right now, no one's looking at Brandon Green. Everyone assumes he's a tackle, and the key is to get this off quick. Remember what happened. LSU had this game won. Kick goes out of bounds. Bama gets downfield. They had a couple chances to sack Blake, and they couldn't get to him. We made that throw to Christian Jones to get down the field. Then, on the kickoff, had the big hit by Robert Foster or by Reuben Foster. So things right now are not going LSU's way. They're a little flustered. That's why I believe Kiffin called this play is because he had him a little out of sorts. Right now, if you're in the box for LSU, you've got to see this. you got to see you got two guys off there, two guys on here. Something's not right. They should have called a timeout and got everybody lined up. But they didn't. The key is the quick snap. So here's Green. No one over him. And as soon as he releases the defensive end, oh, crap, he knows something's up. And as Green releases down this seam, all the other receivers have one job. Stay the freak away from that guy. Okay, so these two guys are going to run up the seam and try to stay out of the middle. Green's going to release down, down the hash and come back towards the middle. These two guys are going to run vertical routes and keep everyone away. LSU defensively, look, you've got three guys focused on two. You've got four guys focused on three. Keep them out of the middle. Sims, or I'm sorry, Robinson's right here flashing a screen. Sims never looks off. He's got green open right down the middle. All he's got to do is throw and catch. By the time LSU realizes, Bama's got the ball inside the one. 